Okay, so I just want to show you, um, particularly those of you in um, year 13, just um, starting to think about the individual investigation, a tool that for all those kinetics experiments that you're likely to do will make the graph plotting, I think, a lot easier. Some of you wanted to do graph plotting um, on computers, and sometimes if you use spreadsheets, Excel or um, Google Spreadsheets, then it's difficult to get good results. But I've been playing around with one tool that I think does give quite good results. So I'm just going to turn on screen sharing just to demonstrate it for you, and uh, you can play around with it as you want. I'm doing this on my um, Chromebook, but this is a uh, just a Chrome app I'm going to demonstrate. So this will work on um, anything really with um, Chrome installed. I'll just turn share, screen sharing on. And uh, minimize that. Get out of the way. OK, so um, I've got some data here. This is actually some data that we made in uh, a year 12 lesson to do with measuring the enthalpy change of reaction. That's the um, Google spreadsheet version of the graph. So I'm going to copy that data. So I've got it, Control C to copy. And I'm going to launch a Chrome app. Um, it's called Plotly. And um, let's go full screen. Let's close that. So you can sign into this with your um, Google account. So I'm signed in at the moment there. If you click on the sign in button, there thing comes up, and you just click on the uh, the Google link and sign in with your account, and then you can save your graphs. And you get a, a graph layout like that. And you can input data manually into this, or you can copy and paste data, or you can upload data from things like spreadsheets. So what I'm going to do is um, just click on that to get a plot. I'm going to get rid of that default one that's there. And do Control V to paste. There we go. Didn't press it hard enough. Okay, so I've got that data there, and once I've got that data in here, I can then plot that in any of these types of graphs which I've got across the top here. Um, what I like about this more than doing this in the spreadsheet is that you get a full A4 graph out of it when you print it off. Um, and you can customize the axes and scale the axes a lot more easily. So this is going to be an XY scatter graph. Uh, you can also do linear regression quite easily in this. I'll demonstrate that with some other data. But if you click on that, you have to choose which you want as the X axis. We'll have that as the X axis, which is time. And that has the Y axis, which is temperature. You can also put error bars on. Um, so I'm going to do a scatter plot. And there we've got our plot. And what it will do is optimize the axis. So you can see it's actually down at 20 seconds here. I want to name that. That's, um, that's uh, temperature, isn't it? Let's put temp. And I can just click on that for um, time. Put some units in to be good in seconds, and we've immediately got a decent looking graph. And if this was a chemistry, I'll put a title there so it was an enthalpy change reaction P change of uh, copper so and sink. Well, that'll do for now, except I can spell it sulfate. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we've got something that's labeled nicely, we've got nice points, and you can save that. And uh, Plotly will save your graph, so when you log in, you can access your graphs and you can click on My Files there, and you can see some others I've been playing around with. And um, if you click on this, you can download it. If you were creating your individual investigation in chemistry, I'd suggest you download it as a PNG file. That's a, that's a image file, type of image file, which you can immediately insert into your in, in individual investigation. 
or if you just wanted to print it off, I'd download it as a PDF. So we'll download that as a um, PDF. So we've got a PDF there, and if I open that up, we've got a nice A4 graph, nicely plotted, decent axes. Um, so I quite like the way it works. Um, but you can also do some other sort of neat things. Um, this one here is uh, auto scale. You can zoom in and out of the graph. You want to see the whole axes. Um, you can pan around, so you can move it around. And there's lots of things you can do to sort of scale it. Um, and you can put labels on it, you can annotate the graph as well. But if I just do another one, sort of a grid, put some numbers in, you can, there's a lot more advanced stuff you can do with it with scripts and things. But if I just do a, oops, just manually put some data in rather than getting it from a spreadsheet, and you can see how easy it is to do something like uh, linear regression. I'll uh, put something that's approximately linear, but not quite. Uh, 3.9, um, 5.1, um, 6.2, uh, 6.9, 8.1, say. So if we um, plot that, in fact, here we go. If we do a fit on that. Uh, we've got to specify the x-axis and the y-axis again. We do fit, and it will give you the gradient. Sorry, it will give you the equation of the line. We plot that as a scatter plot. Again, x, y. Uh, doesn't do a very good job in actually approximating. So these ones are a little bit out here, and um, you've got fit data as an option here. And you can do it linear, or you can do polynomial, and you can set the degree of the fit. So uh, I think that's OK, probably, the way it's done there. And we've got a line of best fit. And you could maybe label that one as an outlier. And you can mouse over the points and find out what the points actually are in the fit point. And we can save this and we can print this. But it's a quicker way, I think, than fiddling around with a spreadsheet. You can just cut and paste your data from a spreadsheet of getting quite a good um, line and quite a good quality output and also quite a good quality output you can then insert into um, a document once you've plotted your graph. And you can just save it. If you click on Save, it will be saved in here. But anyways, I thought I'd just show you that. Um, Plotly, get it on the Chrome Web Store. Um, it looks quite good for plotting those all those graphs that you're going to have to do in your individual investigation, plus any other sort of scientific graphs that you might have to plot. Okay, so anyways, have a go at that. I will be doing um, something chemical tomorrow. I'll probably be doing using bond enthalpies to calculate enthalpy changes of reaction. Okay, and we will stop there, I think.